I think it, it's fair to say when we, when we stand back, there are always risks. You take a risk yeah, right. driving your car or you know, crossing the road. But I think one needs to learn to manage those risks. And one of the biggest risks that all of us around the world have currently faced for the last five years is zero interest rates. So lots of asset classes have been manipulated by the central banks around the world. So we've all been taking risks without necessarily always appreciating which were the right risks to be taking and which were the wrong risks. And I think for many clients, they want to take a risk where they understand the type of payoff. Sometimes I think in these markets, it's good to be a contrarian. When everyone is looking to buy something, maybe you should be thinking about whether you sell it. And, and I think given the volatility of many of the markets and many of the asset classes and the correlation, i.e. how they respond to each other, it's very important that clients take those risks knowingly. We think it is important that in a world where there's a lot of volatility yeah. and where we believe beta returns, the market returns, both from bond markets and from equity markets, are going to be lower, mm -hmm. we think we need to be active and to add alpha to our clients so that they can earn the type of returns that they have historically earned. But when one's looking into the future, the returns, 8 10% a year, look very demanding uh -huh. because of where we're starting from mm -hmm. in 2017. Mm -hmm. That's why we're passionate about being active investors. And therefore, I think one of the reasons for being an active investor, one of the reasons for looking across many asset classes as a multi-asset investor or a balanced investor, is because at certain times, the volatility of those asset classes will give you the opportunity. One of the things that Alliance Global Investors prides itself on is the quality of our research. Whether it is stock-specific equity research, macroeconomic research, or credit research, we believe not only in, in doing it ourselves so that we can set our own time horizons and, and emphasize our own um, uh, um, uh, forecasts inside those, uh, th those, th that research, mm -hmm. so that when the markets overshoot one way or another, you are able to take the benefit of that volatility. Importantly, whether one is investing in companies in Taiwan or whether one's investing in companies in Germany, many of them are now global. So we make sure that all our research is shared globally. As an industry, we have to respond by giving the clients what they need. But I think that the other, the other side of investing is that one, when one looks at the returns from the market, top 20% of stocks in most indices generate all the return. Mm -hmm. The other 80% are just noise. So we believe that if you can find the best of the 20%, over a long term, you will add the alpha the clients are looking for, and you can ignore the other 80%. Mm -hmm. Clearly, most passive funds and index funds own the 100%. So you have the rubbish as well as the quality. And so we think that is where passive doesn't fulfill a role. It doesn't allocate capital to the good and the bad, it just allocates capital across the board. But if you can add alpha to that yeah. dull market, then the returns become much more valuable to clients. Uh -huh. So that's why we believe in being active investors. I think clients have always wanted a level of return. And I think the challenge for us as Alliance Global Investors and for you as the advisor to clients is to help them understand that maybe the historic rates of return are not likely to be generated going forwards. However, if they take no risk, they are going to earn no return. 
And I think the challenge for all of us around the world is now that our healthcare costs are still rising, our pension and housing costs in capital cities is rising, and therefore a 1, 2 or 3% return is not protecting the purchasing power that you, you, um, you need to generate the type of lifestyle that you wish to when you retire. So we think clients need to be investors, not traders. They need to look to the medium term, not the short term. And they need to have the flexibility to be active and agile.